Chapter 5, The Roundtable and the Royal Institute of International Affairs, the RIIA was built upon the existing secret society named the Roundtable, established around 1910 by Cecil Rhodes. Rhodes was financed by the Rothschilds so he could monopolize the diamond fields of South Africa. The Roundtable groups started out as semi-secret groups similar to that of the Illuminati and Freemasonry. The groups are the British Royal Institute for International Affairs, the CFR, the Bilderberg Group, the Club of Rome and the Trilateral Commission. At the present day I become a member of the Masonic Order I see the wealth and power they possess, the influence they hold, and I think over their ceremonies and I wonder that a large body of men can devote themselves to what at times appear the most ridiculous and absurd rites with an object and without an end, the idea gleaming and dancing before one's eyes like a will of the wisp at last frames itself into a plan. Why should we not form a secret society with but one object, the furtherance of the British Empire and the bringing of the whole uncivilized world under British rule for the recovery of the United States for the making of the Anglo-Saxon race but one empire, this is a quote by Cecil Rhodes. Dr. John Coleman wrote that armed with immense wealth gained from the control of gold, diamonds and drugs. Round tablers fanned out throughout the world to take control of fiscal and monetary policies and political leadership in all countries where they operated. The round table itself consists of a maze of companies, institutions, banks and educational establishments, which in itself would take qualified insurance actuaries a year to sort out said Coleman. Coleman also believed that Rhodes was thought to be a member of a covert group named the Olympians, after Greek gods, and that this was another name for the globalists named the Committee of 300 Feet. Author Dr. Quigley, states that at the end of the War of 1914, it became clear that the organization of this roundtable system had to be greatly extended and so Lionel Curtis was called upon to establish the Royal Institute of International Affairs, an umbrella organization for the roundtable groups. In the United States, the roundtable front group was named the Council on Foreign Affairs, CFR, commonly known as Chatham House. The RIIA is a non-profit non-governmental organization based in London. Its mission is to analyze and promote the understanding of major international issues and current affairs. In the University of Pennsylvania's 2015 Global Go to Think Tanks report, it is ranked as the second most influential think tank in the world. Its aim is to promote debate on significant developments in international affairs and policy responses. It is routinely used as a source of information for media companies seeking background or experts upon matters involving major international issues. It is membership-based and anyone can join. In addition to corporate members consisting of government departments, large corporations, academic institutions, investment banks, NGOs, energy companies etc., it currently has international leaders from business, diplomacy, science, politics and media amongst its members. The Institute has a Chatham House rule which provides that guests attending a seminar may discuss the results of the seminar in the outside world but may not discuss who attended or identify what a specific individual said. Its research is structured around four departments including, energy, environment and resources, international economics, international security, and area studies and international law. It also contains the Center on Global Health Security. Previous speakers have included Shinzo Abe, David Cameron, Aung San Suu Kyi, Christine Lagarde, Madeleine Albright, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Abdullah Gul, and Asfo Rasmussen. Herman Van Rompuy, Mohammed Yunus, Ban Ki-moon and Muhammadu Buhari.
The Chatham House Prize is an annual award presented to the state's person or organization deemed by Chatham House members to have made the most significant contribution to the improvement of international relations in the previous year. Some winners have included Secretary of State John Kerry in 2016, co-founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Melinda French Gates in 2014 and Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton in 2013. The Royal Institute of International Affairs found its origins in a meeting held by Lionel Curtis of the American and British delegates to the Paris Peace Conference in May of 1919. Curtis had been an advocate for the scientific study of international affairs and following the beneficial exchange of information after the conference. He argued that the method of expert analysis and debate should be continued when the delegates returned home. Ultimately the British and American delegates formed separate institutes with the Americans developing the Council on Foreign Relations in New York.